it's just mm -hmm. extraordinary that that interaction with you as a faculty member can change mm -hmm. their life in ways I know that you have seen it, but it changed their mm -hmm. life to change their perspective. It gives them tools to successfully navigate the rest of their life. Yeah. Why wouldn't you be thankful for that opportunity? It's awesome. Yeah. Well, as you mentioned, sometimes, you know, the behavior of, of another person, especially if you're experiencing sort of a re repetition of the same thing year in, year out, or you've taken some, some time away, you've come back, and then you see the dysfunctionality, whether it is uh, moments in your organization or dysfunctionality in terms of people's behavior in the classroom, it, it can test your patience. And I guess you know this better because you're a parent. Um, do you have any secret for maintaining patience? When people are testing your patients, what can people expect from you? What are the tells that Larry is doing some kind of a breathing meditation <laughs> in a meeting? Um, what are your seriously? What are your secrets for not blowing it, not blowing your top when somebody really tested your patients? Yes, uh, my my staff will uh, have had this joke where they know I'll say, um, you know, facetious say, oh. I'm about to have a stroke, you know, like my head yeah. pop off my my shoulders, meaning I'm I'm losing patience and they can see my body language, right? Particularly when things aren't being done efficiency or aren't aren't efficiently or going well. I I I really become uh quite agitated and, and irritated by that. Um I do I do think, but perhaps the thing I've been most conscious of at Babson and being a uh a vice president being a black male where there are so few is that I represent something larger than myself. And so if I blow my top, if I react negatively, if I don't show a level of patience, then the next person who looks like me, who comes along in leadership, isn't afforded the same benefit of the doubt. So in many ways, you, you carry a burden larger than yourself. Now, would I love to just blow my top and go around and be like, ah, I'm frustrated, I've lost patience, and so on and so forth? You have to recognize it is larger, the responsibility is larger than you are. I'm also very conscious of the fact there's a lot of new professionals in my division. They graduate, they may finish a master's program, and their first job in higher ed is at Babson College under the Division of Learner Success and Campus Life, and I'm their vice president. And they are watching me in ways that I may not see, but they are definitely watching. And I'm their example of what leadership in their industry, in their field looks like. 